and the access issues are extreme. Um, the problems now is that these, these mechanisms to find other physicians aren't just being used by physicians who are objectors, conscientious objectors, but they're being used by people who have actually been through the process once. So I most recently received a referral from a physician who I know has performed this in the past. So I called him up and I said, hey, what, why, call, why are you sending this patient to me? You, you can do this. And he said, oh, I'm not going through this again. That my institution gave me such a hard time. They absolutely pulled me through the ringer. I'm sorry, I'm not even, I'm not going to get involved. So we're, I'm not being asked now to give second opinions. I'm being asked to give first opinions for people who live hours away from the city. We don't have those mechanisms in place and it's not clear that those are being set up. Um, this is where, uh, and, it's, and, and that kind of brings me to the final thing I want to talk about, which is why it's important to be a member of an organization like this and what role you guys as, as members and participants in Dying with Dignity can play in, in, a, in a world, in a country where assisted death is legal. Being involved in an organization like Dying with Dignity, there is still a huge role to play even if the laws have changed. And it's not just in crafting and changing the laws, that will be important, but that's going to be done. What the real role of this is to actually try to set up the system under which this will work. Right? So volunteer organizations, advocates, people who can inform patients, inform family members about how the system should work and how they can access the services they need. Because right now that service does not exist. Right? Um, uh, the ministry means well, they're doing their best, but they're just, they, they have so much to do in such a short amount of time that they just couldn't get it all done. This is a role we can play. Okay, in this organization. And so I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out today and continuing to give your support to an organization like this that can play that role. And I hope that you will continue to do so in the future. And I want to thank you for your attention.